Hey everyone! It has been super cloudy all day long and it just got to be sunny outside. It rained all morning. So I didn't think I was going to be able to do a video today. But the sun came out last minute. I think it's like past 4 p.m. Let me see. Yeah, 4.14 p.m. right now. And I decided to go ahead and film a quick video because the sun came out. So I have my little real born Darren sculpt baby here. And this baby was done by Amanda Hannon of Chrysalis Dolls. She painted him, um, painted his hair, and put him together and everything. So you guys know this baby as Isla, but I'm considering changing this baby to a boy. I'm just not bonding with this doll as a girl. So this is probably the first on my channel that I've ever decided to go ahead and switch a doll <laughs> to um, either from a girl to a boy or a boy to a girl. So I wanted to do his details video today. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys think this baby looks better as a girl or a boy. Go ahead and check the comments on this video to see if they're still up. But if they're not, then you can go to my community section on my channel and comment about the video there. Um, if you have any questions about the whole comment situation and why my channel doesn't have comments right now, you can go to my last video, which was um, Where Are the Comments, I think is what I put in the title. My camera is going to die very quickly, so I'm going to hurry up and film his details for you guys. I've had a few people request this video um, because they were thinking about getting the Darren sculpt or um, because they wanted to see Amanda's work or more of her work because I have a lot of her work in my collection. So the Darren sculpt is made to be a 17 and a half inch baby. He is a real born, which means that he was made from a 3D scan of a real baby. And um, I don't know if they're making an awake version of this baby or if they already have. I don't remember. But he's really cute. And he is my favorite real born sculpt at the moment. So my favorite of the sculpts that are done from real babies. He wears large preemie and small newborn like really small newborn ah my camera's dying no okay i have to go get a new battery i'll be right back okay i'm pretty sure that this battery is not going to last very long either so i better hurry up and film this video i didn't charge one i don't know why i didn't have one on the charger but okay let's finish this details video this baby does take a modified pacifier I have not found a pacifier brand or style that works best for this baby yet, so when I do, I'll probably share that with you guys in a later video. But I really love this baby's size. This sculpt is super cuddly and super realistic. Um, mine has very light blonde hair. This is the first baby I've ever had in my collection. Wow, my camera's dying again. Okay. <laughs> Let's just try to get through this video. This is my first baby in my collection with light blonde hair ever, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've had a lot of babies come and go in my collection. Um, mine has these little details, um, which by the way, I had mine done as a custom order. Mine has these port wine stain birthmarks. And I made a video about that a while ago. How my customs have... Um, my customs from other artists usually have port wine stain birthmarks if the artist can do them. He has one half fist, I guess you could say, and a hand that is in a complete fist. He has lots of these little port wine stain birthmarks. I think he has one on, yeah, on this arm too. And he has one outstretched leg and one that's a little more curled up. 
He also has a Port Weinstein birthmark there. Adorable wrinkly feet. This is like the most rushed details video I've ever done. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I've had a few people request to see his details, so I figured I would do it. By the way, his artist always has adorable babies up for adoption on her website, so I'll leave that in the description for you guys to go check out. But I love this little guy. But that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy to show. He's adorable. You guys can see his details really well. Alright, well, I guess I better go put both of these batteries on the charger now before my camera dies. Thanks for watching, everyone.